listening by um, uh, live streaming, um, you can go to ccfv.life and l learn anything that's going on within the church. And that's important because uh, we got a lot going on this week. Um, tonight, we're going to have our second installment of the Future Today Prophecy Meeting at the church office. And if you're concerned or excited about what's going on, come and hear uh, about uh, prophetic happenings. Uh, whenever you open up uh, a newspaper, not that any of you do, but you do online, you see the fulfillment of prophecy. And so we're going to talk about some of those things. So come and join us tonight at 6 o'clock. Uh, you'll be glad you did. It's a blessing to hear what God is doing. There's men's breakfast next week. There's also, also the social Sunday next week. You can see that in your bulletin, but you can see it online as well. Um, the social Sundays, you know, if you've not been coming, gosh, you're missing out on great food and even better fellowship. So get and be a part of that, okay? Other things that are going on, uh, we have the Operation Christmas Child that's happening. You can see some of that information in the back. And so I want you to uh, grab that and help uh, Operation Christmas Child. Also have the Harvest Street Fair coming up in a couple of weeks. Need candy for that, but also need some volunteers. You can see Cindy or Larry. Um, and so, you know, it's a great opportunity and it's a great outreach. Um, God is working around the world. You, you can see his hand everywhere. And so that's why we pray for our government. Um, if you don't know it, our government leaders, they need a lot of prayer. Um, pray for the election that's coming up. Pray for the new UN ambassador that will be appointed because one of the people that um, President Trump was uh, considering is not somebody that we want. So the only way you know that is to read up on those things. So be in prayer. Pray for Israel. God tells us that we should be in prayer for Israel. He tells us to pray for the peace of Jerusalem. But Israel is the center, literally, of the universe. And so we pray for um, them as well. It's a blessing to be here to hear the word of God um, taught and for us to be singing with adoration to our Lord. Amen? Amen. Well, let's pray, and then I'll have you stand and greet one another. Um, and just remember, put a smile on your face. You're in God's holy place. We should be so excited about that, no matter what's going on in our life, because God knows what you're going through, and he will carry you through it. Let's pray. Father, as we just bow before you, we do pray for the United States and the leadership, Father. I pray that we would become a country of repentance and then revival. We need a revival that we would go back to our roots, Father, of being founded upon the Word of God. We pray for our leaders, Lord, whether they know you or not, that you would work through them to cause them, Father, to hear from you and to do your will. We pray for the election that's coming up. We pray for um, just the appointments, Father, that are coming, that men and women that know you would be put in their place. Pray for Israel, Father, Israel is your chosen land. It's your promised land. Allow, Father, your name to reign supremely. I pray that the veil that is upon the secular Israelis would be taken off, Father. We pray for people like Guy Cohen and, and uh, Brian Slater, Father, who are doing ministries to the Messianic congregations, that there would be an abundance of fruit. Lord, Bless this congregation that we would hear from you so that we would be obedient to your call. Bless Pastor Rick with strength, wisdom, energy, and the ability to communicate your word, Father. Bless us, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen.